Then you were you were saying something about Ingve because I was going to yeah, ask no. you. Tell me about tell me about when Ingve hit in L.A. and what that was like. I'll tell you exactly what it was like. I was opening up for him at his first show when he was with Steeler. Okay. And we played at the, at the uh, Troubadour. And I remember people coming up to me because we did our sound check and people like three or four, five, six, seven people came up to me. Dude, hang around because you've got to see this next guitar player come. I mean, it's out of this world. It's like nothing you ever seen. So I'm thinking, oh, great. OK, here we go again. Another <laughs> another six shooter coming to you know <laughs> steal my throne or kill me. You know, so I, I sat there and I watched this sound check and he comes up with a I think it was a 50 watt half stack Marshall and one pedal and uh, killing it, just killing it. And I'm sitting up there just going, Jesus, how in the hell can anybody play that fast, that articulate in the sweeps he was doing? I mean, he was a kid. He was like 19. Just insane. So he get, they get done with their sound check. I see him go upstairs. I follow him upstairs to meet him. He's on one leg tying a shoe. And I walk up to him and I put my hand like a dude. I got to tell you, man, you're probably the best guitar player I've ever seen. And he looks up and goes, yeah, I know. And he went back to tying his shoe, never shook my hand, nothing, <laughs> nothing. So flash forward years later, we have a mutual friend and we all went to dinner and, and Ingve's there. And so after, and then we went to saw, see him at the, uh, uh, the Avalon, I think it was the Avalon ballroom. And I think it's called that in uh, Hollywood on Vine Street. And we're backstage, you know, and it's the crew and me and my buddy, that's the mutual friend. And uh, so we're all telling stories and stuff. I go, I got one for you. <laughs> so I told this, tell the story, but yeah, I know, you know, and not shaking my hand or nothing. Uh, his wife, um, I can't think of her name right now. She, April, April thank you. Yeah, yeah. And beautiful hair. She has the most amazing hair. But anyways, she goes up and slaps him on the chest so hard. I felt it. And there's a big red welt there. And she's going, I told you, you cannot be an asshole to people because nobody forgets that. And, and he looks at me, goes, great. Did I really say that to you? I go, absolutely. And he goes, I'm so, I go, dude, no, no, that's a, one of the best stories ever. I love it. <laughs> I love that story. I'm glad it happened, you know? Wow. Yeah. That's, that's cool. He, that was his first show with Steeler. Huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He was something else, man. He was, uh, it was amazing. It was yeah. amazing. I remember when that album came out, you know, and, the, and this, you know, he was, it was like another shift, like Eddie was. It was, a, yeah, a, absolutely. The thing about Ingve, though, is he can play slow. <laughs> He's great. He's the best blues guitar player around, but he doesn't do it. I know. I love watching him. Some of yeah. some of the slower instrumentals he did in the early days were beautiful. Yeah. You know, some of the solos like Save Our Love, which is a beautiful ballad he did, had a, a gorgeous solo that had all the elements in it that he yeah. did so well. And, and yeah, yeah I, but he, yeah, he's always stuck to what he does, you know, and it is, it is. Even today, it'll be bewildering to watch for a little while. Like you know, if you go online and you just punch in Ingve lessons or something like that, and you know, sometimes a Friday night or any night, you're bored. Oh, <laughs> hell, I'm going to just go watch some stuff. And he said, I'll slow it down. And it's still so fast. You can't even, what the hell? How did you slow that down? It's nobody can still get it. You know, it's just, it's, he's just so far away from, you know, conventional thought and uh, abilities. Yeah. You know?